The 2023 Audi A8 slash S8. Let's talk about all of the new changes for 2023, and then we can talk about why this is a excellent value proposition today, especially as a lease vehicle. All right, let's get started. For 2023, there aren't any crazy changes, of course, because in 2022, the vehicle got a subtle refresh. So regarding the exterior, it is a direct carryover, but you get a few additional features with certain packages. The models that come with the Comfort Plus package now get the HD Matrix LED headlights and vehicles with the Executive package will now come with Remote Park Assist. The interior, much like the exterior, remains the same. However, the S8 model gets new Valcona leather, and this is gonna come with rhombus-shaped stitching. You still have the same excellent Audi virtual cockpit, the 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, and you have the, the dual screens with the A8 S8 for the infotainment. You have the 10.1-inch upper touchscreen, and then you have that 8.6-inch lower touchscreen, which operates your various HVAC controls which surprisingly I don't hate. It works pretty well. I enjoy the haptic feedback. Now, these are pretty glossy screens, so you do have to have a microfiber cloth with you to clean it off, especially with all the dust particles, but the actual operation of it is very good. And we also have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The A8 comes with a three liter turbocharged V6, putting out 335 horsepower. The S8 is the model that I am interested in, especially on a lease, and this is gonna come with a twin turbocharged four liter V8 engine, pushing out 563 horsepower. And both cars are mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. The Quattro all wheel drive is of course standard. And the A8L model starts at around $89,000 with destination. And the S8 starts at around $121,000. $595. Fully loaded, the A8 can be upwards of 100 grand and the S8s can be like 145 grand. But the value comes from the lease. I mean, you can still finance it, of course, but these flagship German sedans, they always tank in value. So just to hedge yourself, that's why I always recommend leasing with these cars. And fortunately, with all the incentives, it does make sense. I think there's a $5,000 Costco discount that you can take advantage of between March and April of 2023. Audi themselves, the manufacturer, they're offering $5,000 in incentives. And if you become a PenFed member, which only requires $5 to open up an account with them, it's a credit union, they have a automotive buying program and you can take an additional $2,000 off of a A8 slash S8 when you go to buy or lease. And I believe that discount is stackable with the Costco and the Audi manufacturer rebate. So right there, that's $12,000 in rebates. At bare minimum, I would try to get 10% off MSRP in either the A8 or the S8 because this car is getting long in the tooth now. I mean, the S class is brand new, the BMW 7 series, that's been fully redesigned. This Audi is the same product from 2019, essentially. So this is the oldest one, so you should be able to get a phenomenal discount and deal on it. Honestly, I would really try to go for 12 to 15%, but at bare minimum, I would take 10% off MSRP. Now, the discount and the rebates are two totally different things. Discounts come from the dealership. The incentives come from the manufacturer and other sources like Costco and credit unions. So on a $100,000 A8, you should be getting 10% off MSRP, so it's 10 grand discount, $12,000 in rebates, that's $22,000 that you should be taking off of the price of this A8, a brand new one. That's the minimum that I would be aiming for, and if you were to lease it, I think the payments are between $1,200 a month for an A8 and around $1,500 a month for the S8, and pretty well-equipped models as well, no money down, all the fees, rolled in. The only thing about the lease that sucks is the Audi finance rates on the lease is pretty high. It's like 6% interest. Fortunately, with the discounts and the incentives, I think it makes sense. And this car per month on a lease ends up being around the same price as like a BMW M5 lease. And the S8 is literally a flagship product from Audi. So I think that's the much better deal. And this undercuts the BMW 
8 Series by a few hundred dollars on a lease as well. The only Mercedes products that lease out well is loaner cars in particular and the downgraded engines, if you will. Like you can get a much better deal on a loaner S500 than you can on a S580, if that makes sense. Same thing with the EQS. The 450 models lease out way better than the 580s and the AMG products. So here with the Audi, you're able to get an S8 at a pretty decent deal, especially in today's buying market. Hopefully this video was of value to you. Let me know in the comment section if you're an owner of this car and if you are gonna consider purchasing it. Let me know if you have any additional questions. Leave them down below, I'll try to answer them. A resource that I'm gonna leave you with is the Lease Hacker Forum. You can check that out, to find additional information. But thanks again for watching. I'll have my next video on the end screen here and I'll see you there.